Grab a pen, grab a book, man. Let's let's forget lightning for a moment. Today, the video that we're checking out is titled "How to Build a Property Portfolio in South Africa." So let's check it out, man. Let's hope we're gonna learn a lot. So let's go. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys on how to build your property portfolio. Now, um, both your financial portfolio uh, is something separate because both of your property portfolio falls under that umbrella. Because that's like your investment, your mutual funds, and of course your property portfolio falls under that uh, umbrella as well. Uh, so make sure that you watch this full video, and I'm gonna give you three steps that you need to take to building your property portfolio. even 
bigger and easier is because that's what people are more attracted to at home. And that's simply because of the security that it gives them uh, as you stay within the state. They can raise their families in there, they don't have to worry so much about the kids being able to play outside. There might even be a park within that estate as well uh, to allow the kids to go play outside. Or alternatively, step three could maybe be to buy a retirement home uh, within a, a retirement village. Maybe you have parents yourself and uh, you would like to give them a place to stay in a, a retirement uh, village, you know, five or ten years down the line. So within that time, you can have a rent out to somebody else and they can take care of that for you. So you've already sort of built a range of three different kinds of property. That yeah. You've got your small little apartment in your area that you're currently renting out, uh, one bedroom apartment. Uh, your second one is now a student accommodation that's either semi furnished or fully furnished. Uh, I would rather say semi furnished, at least have built in cupboards. And then your third step would be to do uh, a townhouse within an estate. Uh, that would be the three steps. The step after that would be what Robert speaks about in, um, uh, in his book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, where he says that. Building a property portfolio can, can be as simple as playing the lottery. You, know, you buy three or four green little houses and then you buy uh, a red hotel if that's the color. But that's literally what can happen because now as you've been building up a portfolio, when you go to the bank and they look at what you have now, these assets that you have and how they're paying for themselves, all this new additional income, they will be far more likely to say, okay, Mr. So-and-so or Mr. So-and-so, um, you now want to buy a small complex, there you go, we can actually find that small complex for you and now you can rent out, you know, 6 to 10 units, um, all under one umbrella, all within one uh, little complex and that's when things get really interesting. So there you have it guys, three steps for building your portfolio, your property portfolio, starting with the places in your area uh, that's small, that's easy for you to learn from and be hands on with. The second option would be to do maybe student accommodation uh, that's semi furnished, and the third option could be a retirement village or a townhouse within an estate. Hope you like the video, guys. And that's it right there, man. The three steps of how to build your property for portfolio in South Africa, man. I hope you like the video. I hope you like this idea for me. So if you are interested like me into property, man, let me know in the comment section, man, in which kind of property you would like to get your head on and what this video will really help to you, man. I'm going to still on the road, Handy Fest. I'm out.